are we doing? Good. Good. How are you? I'm Liam. Hi, Liam. Bill Pratt. How are you? I'm Liam. Just you and I today. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> um, today I am Liam Seagrep. Okay. I am here to talk to you basically about what we do as a company and to also find out what your needs are and okay. what it is that you do. Um, EMC is a company that specializes in technological efficiency. We're able, we are able to do that. Um, based on enhancing your access to your data, okay. also by improving the storage capacity of your data. And as well as that, we're a, we have a security team that works around the clock to protect that data. Okay. Um, today I'm here, I'd like approximately 10 minutes of your time to kind of figure out your current operations and what it is that you guys do as a company and where AMC might be able to help you out. Okay. And, and did somebody reference you to come here? Was it Jenny that set up this meeting? Yes. As well? Okay. Great. Okay, cool. Um, so, I'd like to better understand your current operations as your company and how it is that you use IT systems. Okay. okay. So, um, what do your current operations look like? Yeah. Um, so, currently, uh, you know, I've been with the company since um, it started and I've actually rolled out the entire IT infrastructure that we have today. Um, we leverage servers to run our applications, and from there we have direct attached storage. Okay. Um, so as our business continues to grow, we just add a server and we have more performance, more disk, and more space. Okay, in order for me to um, find the best solutions for these potential concerns that you may have, is it alright if I take some notes? Absolutely, yeah, feel free to use the table. So we know that that current operation system is a on-site? Yes. Okay, very cool. Um, how do you feel that this system is working for you? Great. So far, yeah, it's worked for us for so long at this point, um, you know, definitely. And we have very limited resources here to actually manage the infrastructure, so what we have today is working, and that's what we'd like to continue to go with. Okay, awesome. Um, what, are, what are a few things that you specifically think are going really well in this uh, current operating system? Uh, the, the best part about it is we built it, so we know exactly what it is and where everything is. Um, so we like the familiarity that we have with it. It's what we're used to. Okay. Are there? Um, are you happy with your amount of capacity and storage and protection and all that? Yep. It, it works very good for us. And again, if if we run out of space and we need some more storage, we just buy another server. Okay. Um, what about any areas of potential improvement? Do you think that any of these areas? I know, obviously, cost effectiveness and efficiency. Mm -hmm are often things that can be improved all the time, mm -hmm. but are there anything that comes to mind? That yeah, I mean, we definitely are a growing environment. Um, there's actually the possibility that we might open up a second branch um, in a couple of months, maybe even years at this point. Um, so basically, one of our major challenges is that we need more resources to actually handle the infrastructure that we have today and might have tomorrow. Do you know how you might be able to acquire more of those resources that you need? Um, we're hoping maybe we get some headcount, but there's nothing guaranteed. One of the major reasons why we've been so successful for so many years at this point is we're very strict with our budget and we make sure that we're not overspending on anything. Okay, so being strict on your budget, that means that cost efficiency is very important to you. Incredibly Absolutely. important, okay. yep. Um, anything else you just think you could improve on? Um, at this point, we're very happy with it, uh, with everything that we've rolled out at this point. Um, to be honest with you, I'm familiar with EMC, obviously you guys are very local just down the street to us. Um, and my understanding is that EMC is a very large company and you handle enterprise level customers. Um, and we're an incredibly small shop, you know, we have 25 employees and what we have today is working great for us. Okay, well personally, what, on an everyday basis, what kind of interaction do you have with your IT system? What are the, the things that you use your IT services for the most? So my day is different every day. Mm -hmm. um, it depends on what is actually taking place. Sometimes I walk in and a server has failed, so we, I have to bring in the restoration of that. Okay. Um, or I can find out that a backup didn't go through fully, and, and that can be an issue as well. Um, but for the most part, I spend my time making sure everything is status quo, and if it isn't, making it back up to status quo. Okay. So if those servers are to fail, would it hinder your ability to do your work that day? Yes, it's, it's incredibly difficult if a server fails. Um, more importantly, because our servers and our direct attached storage include all of our customers' information, um, a lot of which is very you know, confidential and needs to be kept 
very secure. Okay. Um, and if we lose a server, we are at risk of having some customer conflicts. Okay. So if, if those servers do go down, you say that you have a better chance of having people who don't have our, that aren't supposed to be able to see your information to have a better shot. Exactly. Of after Which it. Could so security is a big issue. Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, well, like I said, I only asked you for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to stick to that deadline. It means a lot to me. Just as I'm sure as I'm, I appreciate your time today. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to go back and kind of formulate some of the best solutions that I could come up for your potential concerns, and then hopefully meet with you again to discuss those solutions that I created. Okay, what are you thinking at this point in regards to those solutions? Um, I'm thinking that EMC, obviously, we're, we specialize in storage, security, and accessibility. Um, we do, we take a lot of the information from the physical aspect and we put it up into the cloud. So, mm -hmm. being in the cloud, it allows you to have infinite storage capability. We have a team working around the clock that provides security for your data, mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about anything like that. Like you said, if your server was to go down, there's actually a cool technology called Dplex that we use that there's two, say there's two um, offsite server data centers. Yep. One of them was to fail because of, say, a hurricane or some physical problem. Mm -hmm. um, because that information is in the cloud, we're allowed to bring it to another data center and effectively bring it to you. So no matter where your data center is that goes down, we'll be able to bring you your information and keep it safe at all times. Oh, OK. Um, it sounds somewhat complex, it, and I do have very limited resources here in regards to rolling out a solution like that. Um, but I mean, I, I certainly might be something that we can think about a little bit okay. more. Awesome. Well, I know today, at least in our meeting, we went over that you're worried about storage, worried about your security of your data, and you always want to be able to access it. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I'd like to go back, kind of formulate some solutions for you, like hard dead solutions and come back and talk to you about it and yeah. see where we can go from there. Okay. Um, yeah, when are you thinking? Um, maybe tomorrow? Today, later? Um, yeah, we, we have very limited resources around here, so perhaps um, <laughs> perhaps next week. Okay, next, next week. week. Next, week, next, next week. week works great for me as well. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. much.